modify a synchronous up counter using jk flip flop using positive edge trigger here mod stands for modulus which indicates number of states so mod counters are nothing but the number of states through which the counter passes before returning to its initial state is called as modulus so let us see the working of modify asynchronous up counter using jk flip flop and i am designing this one by using positive edge trigger flip flop so the first step that we need to deal is we need to know the number of flip flop that we need to use so always for the mod counter the formula will be 2 power n minus 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 2 power n here capital n stands for mod value which will be given in the question here it is 5 so let me substitute here so this is 2 power n minus 1 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 power n here this capital n indicates the given mod value and this small n indicates number of flip flop if i substitute n is equal to 1 this becomes 2 power 1 minus 1 will be 0 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 power 1 so this is not getting satisfied next try to substitute n is equal to 2 so here 2 power 2 minus 1 this one will be 1 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 power 2 so here 5 less than or equal to 2 power 2 which is 4 so this is also not getting satisfied so let us substitute n is equal to 3 this will be 2 power 3 minus 1 so 2 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 power 3 so this is nothing but 2 power 2 is 4 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 power 3 is 8 so this is getting satisfied so here the number of flip-flops that we need to use is n is equal to 3 so three flip-flops we need to use in order to design mod 5 asynchronous up counter using jk flip-flop so this is the first step that we need to know so number of flip-flops are 3 here the state diagram is nothing but the number of state so as the given question is nothing but mod 5 in order to design this we need to make use of three flip-flop which is n is equal to 3 so 2 power 3 will have eight different states which is nothing but 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so in a normal counters if you have seen like if it is not mod counter so generally it will have a transition from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 and 7 back to 0 but here the given question is nothing but mod 5 means it should have only 5 states so those 5 states will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 so whenever 1 0 1 is detected here we need to clear so mod 5 means it will have only 5 states 1 2 3 4 and 5 which is nothing but from 0 to 4 whenever 101 which is nothing but when 5 is detected at this point of time it should get cleared means we won't get output for 5 6 and 7 means the 7 6 and 5 won't be present mod 5 means only it should have 5 states so what will happen at this point of time is after 1 0 0 directly it will go to 0 0 so this is nothing but mod counter so that's what i've indicated here so 0 1 2 3 4 after 4 again it will go back to the 0 so simply mod 5 will have only 5 states. Suppose if it is not mod 5, then depending upon the value of n, the number of states depends. Suppose if this is not mod 5 counter, suppose if n is equal to 3, then obviously it will have 8 different states starting from 0, 0, 0, so until 1, 1, 1. But as this is mod 5, only it will be having 5 states, which is nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 again after 4 it will come back to so this is a state diagram of mod 5 now after this we need to write the state table just by seeing the state diagram so the important thing here is we need to make use of asynchronous inputs there are two types of asynchronous inputs which can be preset and next one will be clear so preset is again called as set clear can also be called as reset so remember for mod 5 asynchronous counters for mod 5 asynchronous counters, we need to make use of asynchronous inputs, which is nothing but preset followed by clear. We need to write the state table just by seeing the state diagram. As we got n is equal to 3, so 3 flip flops will be there. So 3 outputs, which is nothing but QC, QB and QA. So for 3 flip flops maximum, it can have 8 different states, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 but our question is it is mod 5 mod 5 means it should have only five states that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so whenever 5 is detected at this point of time i need to enable 
clear means you need to make clear as one so that's what i did here for 000, zero, zero there won't be any effect for 0, 0, 001 no effect for 0, 010 zero, no effect for 0, 011 one, one, no effect for 100 zero, zero, no effect but whenever there is 101 one, that is 5 i am enabling this particular clear pin so if you observe here this is active high clear this is active high clear means it will switch on when clear is equal to 1 means when you are giving clear is equal to 1 it will be in on state suppose if clear is equal to 0 this will be in off state this point you need to remember so I am switching on clear whenever 101 is detected and I am not bothered about state 6 and 7. So that's the reason I've taken them as don't care. So after this, we need to do the KMAP for output, which is nothing but clear. So let me write the min terms for this. So for clear, sum of min terms are only in this position, it is 1. And the equivalent for this is 101, which is nothing but 5. So min term is nothing but 5 plus don't cares are 6 and 7. Now do the K map by using this particular min terms followed by don't care. So here we got sum of min terms are 5 plus don't care are 6 and 7. Remaining all positions it is 0. In 5 it should be 1 and in 6, 7 it should be don't care. Now try to form the grouping. So here only one pair will be possible which is nothing but 5 and 7. Now try to write the equivalent for this. So the equivalent for this will be QC, QA. So we got clear is equal to qc dot qa so blindly we can write this one also without doing k map which is mod 5 so equivalent for 5 is nothing but 101 one. here this one is for qc this is qb and this is qa so by seeing this one also we can write in which position it is one in qc and qa so qc dot qa directly also we can write this one without doing k map now this is the important thing that we need to remember so clear is equal to qc dot qa so let us try to draw the logic diagram of mod 5 asynchronous up counter using jk flip flop and using positive h trigger so as we got n is equal to 3 so three flip flops i have taken so this is flip flop number a this is flip flop b this is flip flop c and let me write the suffix here this is j a k a this is q a Q A bar. This will be J B, K B, Q B and Q B bar. This becomes J C, K C, Q C and Q C bar. Now, the first and foremost thing is as this is asynchronous. Asynchronous means clock will be given only to the first flip flop, whereas the output of the first one will act as clock for the next one. Now, in order to give that check here, it is up counter. So the trick here it is. If it is up counter, we need to go for opposite sign. What is this opposite sign? Here clock, which is of type positive edge trigger. So here this clock is positive. Let me put a symbol. This clock is nothing but positive. Now I want to connect opposite sign. So opposite signs are nothing but whenever clock is positive, the other sign should be negative. So whenever the clock is positive, the other sign should be negative. So here if you observe, QA is always positive and QA bar will always be negative. So in order to make it as opposite sign, this clock should be connected to QA bar. So I'm connecting QA bar here. Same thing is applicable here. We need to connect opposite sign. So this becomes QB bar. This is the first step that we need to do. So asynchronous means clock is given only to the first flip flop, whereas it is up counter. So for up counter, opposite sign should be connected. Done. And one more thing here, always J and K should be connected to logic one. So JK is always connected to logic one as this is up counter opposite signs are connected now the important thing for mod 5 for mod 5 clear that we got is qc dot qa which is nothing but an and gate so this is implemented by means of an and gate and the inputs for and gates will be qc qa so take one and gate and inputs for this will be qc so i'm connecting qc next is qa now this output should be connected to clear and i'm connecting it to the output of and gate now qc when it is one and one so one into one is nothing but one so whenever this one zero one is detected means whenever qc is equal to one and qa is equal to one it will enable this clear pin means it will switch on this clear pin when clear is equal to one clear gets switched on so that obviously output will change to zero now output automatically becomes zero whenever this particular pin goes high this is the thing that you need to remember now what about this preset pins so we are not going to use this preset pin so this preset pin should be kept in off position 
so as this is active high why i am calling this as active high is because there is no bar present suppose if it is pre bar then we need to call it as active low need to remember this point if it is active high there won't be any bar if it is active low there will be a bar so in order to switch on preset you have to give one if you are giving one it will be in on state if you want to turn it off apply zero now i am least bothered about preset so that's the reason i want to turn it off so in order to turn it off apply zero and connect this one to logic zero means it will be in off state so the last and final thing that is left is where we need to take the outputs so always output should be taken at qa and here it will be qb and qc so in this places you need to take the output and by default rule always the first flip flop will be least significant bit and the last flip flop will be most significant bit means qc qb and qa here this qc is called as most significant bit and QA is called as least significant bit. So this is the final logic diagram of mod 5 asynchronous up counter using JK flip flop using positive edge trigger. Now let us try to design the same mod 5 asynchronous up counter. But here I am going with active low clear as here clear complement. Clear complement is there. So that's the reason I am calling this one as active low. So in order to turn on this one, you need to apply zero. If you apply zero, it will be in on state. If you are applying one, it will be in off state. This point you need to remember. And as this is mod five, whenever one zero one is detected, one zero one is detected. Here we need to make as zero now. Why? Because it is active low. Means at this particular state, I want to clear. So in order to enable clear bar, you need to apply zero now. Whereas in all the remaining positions, it will be one. And I'm least bothered about the last two cases, so they will be don't care. Now write the min terms for clear bar. So clear bar is equal to sum of min terms. Here min terms are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 plus don't care. Don't care are nothing but 6 and 7. So six and seven are the don't gets. So try to do three variable K map. So here clear bar is equal to sum of min terms zero, one, two, three, four plus don't care six and seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, and then six and seven don't get. The left position will be zero. Try to group them. So here this becomes one quad, and the answer for this will be QC bar next one more quad is also possible which is nothing but 0 4 followed by 2 6 so if you write the equivalent for this simply take the common value from this which becomes q a bar so the final answer will be q c bar plus q a bar so this is same as de morgan's law if you observe in de morgan's law a dot b whole bar becomes a bar plus b bar so here this is in the format of a bar plus b bar so which can be written as a dot b whole bar so this becomes q c dot QA whole bar, which can be implemented by means of NAND gate. Now the inputs are QC, QA. Now let us see how to draw the logic diagram of mod 5 asynchronous up counter. So here clock will be applied only to the first flip flop, whereas the output of the first one will act as clock to the next one. So here first flip flop is A. So I'll write here as JA, KA. This is QA, QA bar. This is JB, KB, QB, and QB bar. The last one is JC, KC, QC and QC bar. So as this is up counter, opposite sign should be connected. So here it is positive. So connect this one to negative and JK should be connected to logic one. So JK is connected to logic one. And here now I'm going for active low clear. So the answer that we got for clear bar is QC dot QA whole bar, QC dot QA whole bar, which is nothing but a NAND gate. So take one NAND gate. And the inputs are QC and the next one is QA and this output should be connected to clear. So short all the clears, short all the clears and apply it to the output of NAND gate. So whenever QC and QA are one and one, so one into one is one complement will be zero. So zero will be applied to clear bar. So here as there is a bubble, it is of type active low. So whenever you are giving input as zero, this turns on. So whenever you are activating this particular clear bar you can write here as clear bar 
So whenever you are activating this one, output becomes zero. That's the key point here that you need to remember. And we are least bothered about preset. So preset should be in off state. In order to turn it off, apply zero. So this preset is connected to logic zero, which will be in off state. There won't be any effect of preset. And finally, we need to take the output. The output will be taken at QA, this is QB and QC. So here the last one is most significant bit and the first one is least significant bit. So these are the two differences which you need to remember while trying to understand mod 5 asynchronous up counter using JK flip flop. That is using positive edge trigger. Either you can draw it by using active low clear or else you can go for active high clear. Both are correct but better try to follow active low clear. Why? Because there we are making use of a universal gate called as NAND gate.